What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. UFC on ESPN happened this past Friday, October 18th. Uh, UFC on ESPN, Reyes versus Weinman from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, a fight, a light heavyweight potential uh, contender. Um, a few of the, was it, middleweights, welterweights uh, have come up to hopefully challenge John Jones. Well, at least they thought so. Uh, Luke Rockhold and uh, Chris Weinman are the two I'm speaking of, both former champions uh, at welterweight, and uh, both looked horrible. Both got destroyed. Um, now, Luke Rockhold hasn't looked good for a long time. Chris Weinman had looked good, uh, except for a couple late finishes, uh, kind of lost fights in the late, later latter parts of the round. Um, but at least he was kind of had momentum, it felt like. Potentially had momentum. Where uh, Rockhold, like... He's just got this unbelievable arrogance. <laughs> he he doesn't have the ability to speak well. Like putting words together isn't isn't his best uh, best attribute. But uh, he's got a lot of confidence, and I'm sure that just comes with being attractive his whole life. Like there's a you know there's white privilege is a thing, but there's attractive privilege. There's there's a thing when you live in this world and you're an attractive human male or female, both get this privilege, uh, where most people are pretty amazingly nice to you just because you're attractive. Um, now, they may also think you're stupid, uh, but that's a lot of the times that's not far off. Not that there's not smart, uh, uh, gorgeous people out there, but because of the privilege of being attractive, uh, you don't have to be smart. You don't have to focus on trying to get a personality or uh, work on your intelligence. Uh, and you can kind of coast by in a lot of uh, life situations just being attractive. Uh, you get preferential treatment in like customer service areas. Uh, anytime money is really uh, a factor, you tend to get uh, a little bit... Uh, more leeway when you're attracted. I know I, there's been times in my life where I was actually thin and uh, I tend to be more attractive. And uh, it's just kind of a disgusting thing to see when you've been on both sides how different people treat you uh, when you look a certain way. And I think Rockhold has suffered from his privilege and hasn't uh, really been able to form as a complete human being. Um, and one of those things is an arrogance in his inability to fix holes in his game uh, and just brain damage, uh, avoid brain damage. Uh, Chris Weinman uh, just got destroyed by Dominic Reyes, and it was a pretty quick finish uh, with punches. Uh, Weinman never really looked good. Uh, he got the clench at some points, but wasn't really able to do anything with it. Um, so it was a quick win for Dominic Reyes. Would not mind seeing him fight. Uh, for the belt, I don't think Chris Weidman is necessarily the test to be the fight for John Jones. I would rather see the winner of, uh, was it Anderson and uh, Walker, Johnny Walker. The, the, I think that's next. that might be the next card. That, I believe, to be more of a number one contender fight uh, rather than Chris Weidman. Same thing with Rockhold. It's like these people, they, they come up, they look horrible in their own way class, and they just assume because they have a name uh, that they can just walk in and fight for a belt, uh, which I'm glad they didn't do because they both looked horrible. Uh, we got to see Yair Rodriguez versus Jeremy Stevens finally. That was a great fight. Yair uh, dominated. Uh, Stevens came back in the third round, I think, but it wasn't enough to, to win the fight. Greg Hardy is a piece of shit. He shouldn't be fighting. Uh, he should for sure be suspended for using a steroid during a fight. He used his inhaler uh, after the second round before the third round. Uh, clearly, he was gassing. It was the longest he's ever been in the cage during a fight. Uh, he looked 
uh, did not look good. Uh, he got hit a bunch of times by his opponent, uh, Sassoli, um, who was a much smaller heavyweight, um, but was able to end a l- lot shorter reach, but was able to land uh, a good amount of punches on on Hardy. Um, and Hardy poked. I would love to see the eye poke count because he probably exceeded exponentially any other previous amount of eye pokes ever sustained in the UF in a UFC fight. Like he was poking eyes consistently throughout. Like there used to be a thing with John Jones poking an eye, which I think it's been a while since John has actually poked an eye. He's been poked in the eye and like I think Cormier has probably poked more people in the eye since uh, in the past few years than John Jones has. I mean, eye pokes definitely happen, uh, but I think Greg Hardy is just a dirty fighter. I think he's looking for shortcuts. I think instead of uh, improving his cardio and uh, working hard to be a better uh, fighter, he is uh, searching for any kind of uh, shortcut to uh, success, Um, the inhaler is fucking ridiculous uh it's the fight even though he won it uh, which wasn't even a very impressive win uh he it was overturned to a no contest it was just fucking ridiculous joe lozon looked amazing against jonathan pierce um great dominant win for joe lozon love that one macy barber looked great against jillian robertson macy barber throwing fast combinations so much fun uh, just overall, it was a fun win. Darren, uh, Darren Stewart uh, versus, oh no, Darren Stewart versus Deron Wynn. Deron Wynn remind me a lot of DC. Should lose weight. He'd probably fight down another weight class. Did a lot of wrestling, but I don't think he won it. There were people that were arguing that he won that fight. I don't think he won it at all. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a fun fight. Uh, fun night of card, a uh, fun night of fights on the card. Um, but yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so next week on Saturday, it should be, it's Damian Maya taking on Ben Askren for UFC Fight Night. Maya versus Askren, October 26th uh, from Singapore. Uh, both grapplers, Maya and Askren. Uh, Maya is one of the few jiu-jitsu phenoms, uh, legends that uh, is actually good at takedowns. So unlike Crone Gracie, uh, he's able to uh, get people to the ground to utilize his his uh, jiu-jitsu instead of trying to pull guard. Uh, ben Askren, also grappler, wrestler. Uh, probably it's, I would imagine, I would not be surprised, actually, if this one stays on the feet and Damian Maya wins it on the feet. I think he might be able to keep it on the feet. Uh, but if it does go to the ground, I'm I'm hopeful for Maya's uh, abilities, uh, but it'll be the first time I think that we see Askren in the UFC uh, doing a lot of grappling. There hasn't been; he's only been in two fights, and they've been pretty striking heavy. Although the last fight was just short in general. Um, who else? Michael Johnson is back against Stevie Ray uh, in lightweight. Frankie Camacho, Frank Camacho versus Benil Dariush, another lightweight fight. On ESPN Plus, which is nice, the main card's on ESPN Plus, because uh, it's harder for me to see ESPN stuff, which the prelim is on uh, regular ESPN. Randa Marcos is back against Ashley Yoder, Alex White, uh, Barzola, uh, Marcia Green. Um, pretty fun, pretty fun card. Not as um, many names. But same thing with the last card, the Boston card, uh, which was a lot of fun. Uh, this one could end up being a lot of fun. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if Damian Maya uh, or Ben Askren, rather, can uh, turn things around and get another run going, maybe fight for a belt. But I don't know. He's very, he's pretty much a one sided fighter, one dimensional fighter in a lot of ways. So we'll see. Uh, with this matchup, it's going to be a completely different matchup than we've seen him uh, in so far. So uh, we'll see if we get to see some grappling. But I, I think it's going to be on the feet primarily, and uh, Damien Maya is a better boxer for sure. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Maya wins this one. Uh, but that's it for the fights. Uh, fun card from Boston. Looking forward to the Singapore card. Um, at least the main card I'm sure will be fun. Maybe I'll check out some... There's uh, fun highlights I'll 
go back and watch the prelim card. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this episode of the Ray Taylor show. New episodes do come out every single day. So you can go subscribe over at YouTube or IGTV or everywhere else podcasts are found. You can buy my artwork over at inspireddisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RTS at Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.